assalamu alaikum dear students uh, hope everybody will be fit and fine so let's start our topic today our topic is uh, audit report contents in our, if you remember so, so in our previous lecture we discussed the types of the audit reports uh, four types of the audit report we discuss in detail uh, today our topic is audit report contents so I am not going in the explanation of my previous lecture uh, straightly I am coming to my topic audit report contents these are the basic structure of the audit reports which needs to be clear providing sufficient evidence and providing the justification about the opinion of the auditors in it uh, includes the title of report, address detail, uh, opening paragraph, scope of the paragraph, opinion paragraph of the auditors, signature, place of signature and date of the report this was the complete but we mainly here divided all these topic into the basic three main topic and then they have sub headings so first one is title then the body of the audit report and third one part is the closing part an audit report uh, is an opinion as i said that on the financial statements of a company which is given by auditors after, after conducting the audit reports. Audit uh, report chikam di da da yo auditor chikam di da yo opinion di. Au da hamesha pa aid the end ki ki gi chikala audit khatam shi. Auditor report that is mostly published in the annual report of the company for what purpose that auditors report that is read by investors analysts company managements lenders while analyzing the company's performance in asserting the financial reports or as per gap principle Typically, an audit report consists of the title that includes the words independent. In each and every audit report, dear students, when audit report you see or if anywhere you read, so starting paragraph that is consists of the word independent. Independent words illustrate that, that the audit was prepared by an unbiased third party person and the address of the company which has been audited by an independent auditor. Now further the types of the audit the title that is followed by the main body which consists of the following paragraphs or following different another one subhead that is introductory paragraph second one is uh, management responsibility auditors responsibility auditors opinions these are words these are consist in the under they are coming in the under uh, the head of the titles so title uh, if uh, we uh, explain that what does it mean by the title so the title of the report that is over there mentions the name independent auditors report and independent auditors report means that that the audit is conducted by auditors so auditors are the third parties they, they are unbiased no there is no pressure no effect of any internal or external 
um, resources. Clear? In the title, the second one part that is followed, sub part of the title is addresses. The addresses is the person or the group of the persons to whom the report addresses. In the case of any kind of the audit report, the either that is uh, um, statutory audit report or whatever. So, the addresses is, is the shareholders of the company and also addresses refers to the person appointing the auditors. The third one part here is the responsibility of the management and auditors. So, this paragraph give the responsibility of the auditors and the management of the company. It defines the responsibility of the auditor is to perform an unbiased audit of financial statements and give their unbiased opinion. The responsibility of the management is that one that management will provides the complete informations regarding to the financial issue of, of the business operating and compliance. Not, no information should hide by management from the auditors. Clear? And the auditor responsibility is that one that to without any pressure, without any um, third party pressures, they will properly analyze the complete the financial data or the compliance data or, or of the operation data and give their independent opinions. Clear? That either in the primary paragraph of the audit report contents, the auditors, this is the responsibility that uh, after the audit, the auditor will provide their opinion. So, different four types of the opinions that will be provided by auditors, which we discussed in our previous. Um, lecture either that opinion will be qualified opinion, either that will be unqualified opinion, either that will be adverse opinion or either that will be disclaimer of opinion. So, this is the responsibility of the auditors that to give unbiased opinion. Clear? Uh, then in these, we have the different uh, sub parts that basis of the opinion. So, basis of the opinion uh, is another one paragraphs which is included in the body of the audit reports. Uh, that paragraph gives the basis on which the opinion was based. It should mention the facts of the grounds in that report. It means that the basis of the report is that one, uh, oh sorry, the opinion of the auditors, that when auditor give the opinion, so on which basis the auditor give the opinion, that portion in the body of the audit report is called basis of opinion. Next one portion in the body of the audit report, that is signature of auditor and signature of auditor is the partners of the auditors must sign the audit report content at the end. And this is essential part of the audit report that auditor must sign and seal it, stamp it without 
sign and seal of the auditors that report is not acceptable. Place of signature uh, is a specific portion at the end of the audit report. It gives the city in which the audit report was signed. Here the place name or the name of the place will be written where this audit is conducted. Similarly, the date of audit report is also one of the part that will be included in the audit report that at which date the audit report is conducted or completed and then date of signature, date of signature at which date auditors sign it finally finalize sign. So, that will be mentioned with the signatures. So, if uh, we like look at if, 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 if I then the uh, go to the conclusion of my uh, discussion. So, the auditors issued an audit report after doing the financial audit of the company number 1 audit report keep in mind should be given after completing the audit you know this should not be given at the beginning or at the middle of the audit ne kalachi audit complete she no din audit auditors report pal jodavi which contains their opinion about the financial status of the company first means that auditors will analyze the financial statements and after this the, the opinion will be given by auditors against the financial status of the company. The audit report is a mandatory report to be attached to the annual report of the company. When company issued their annual reports, so this is mandatory, mandatory means this is uh, this is this is uh, any peer requirements that company should also attach their audit report with the annual report. So, it gives an independent view of the company's accounts and highlight the misrepresentation if there is any but have by the companies. So, this was the total scenario of the uh, audit uh, reports and the contents of the audit reports. Now, we will move towards the next topic and that is called stages of auditing. Chapter number 3, lecture number 2, stages of auditing. So, stages, we have different stages of audit basically we will discuss one by one like first one stage is audit appointment second one is engagement letters and third one is initial planning now what is audit appointment engagement letter and initial planning we are going to discuss in the details Dear students, audit appointment is what after incorporation of a company in the first annual general meeting AGM, annual AGM stand for the annual general meeting. So, you have seen um, many times AGM. So, AGM stand for annual general meeting. So, an auditor must be appointed by the board of directors. An auditors so appointed will hold office until the conclusion of the first uh, annual general meeting. Audit appointment are the written proof authorization and auditors and the facts that these letters are sent in it is the proof that the firms approve of the auditors and provides the physical proof in shape of the audit appointment letters. So, 
simply an uh, audit appointment, so the audit appointment da which a board of directors, your pal decision wakli, or your audit firms, your auditors, ya your auditors, aga ta your letter ligi, che mung ta da pal company the audit the para being an auditors selectly, or da your written proof the the order appointment letter. The you written proof the che the deco yes ya no kita sumungta reply ra ke. Now that is called audit appointment. Yani you are appoint a company or appointing an auditors for the audit of that company. For example, like look at I will give you the patasuta yo common example of this letter that the like in that audit appointment. Uh, which kind of wording generally that will be included. So, as this is a type of the letters, we are sending it to the uh, chartered accountant. So, over there in this um, letter, uh, generally uh, these words will be uh, included like to, to that will be the heading to whom you are sending it. So, let us suppose um, um, our chartered accountant name is uh, let us suppose Ali to Mr. Ali form and uh, after that we will write the dear sir or madam and then we will write that uh, we are pleased to inform you the members of the company and its board meeting board of directors meeting that is conducted on the 1st of the July 2021 and they has appointed you, you are your firms as auditors of the company for the financial period from 2018 and to 2019 tell on such remunerations as may be uh, decided by the boards. So, you are requested to confirm your appointment for further action at your end. Like so, this is what that will be audit appointment. You know, we are give appointment to an audit firms. Second one stage is uh, engagement letter. So, an engagement letter that is the legal relationship between a professional firms and its client. So, this letters states the terms and conditions of the engagement, the principle addressing the scope of the engagement and the terms of compensations for the firms. Most engagement letters they have standardized formats, but some engagement letters they do not have, they are not have any standardized format. So, simply in simple words, an engagement uh, letter that is a legal relationship between a professional firms and its client. Engagement letter chikam de da si da your letter we chi da the color chi auditors appointment except she no ad, the, the auditors firms who are the company per month ki your letter sign ki that is called words engagement letters. Chapa aga ke total terms and condition which pa kam terms and condition bande ba the audit siki gi conduct ki munga kao clear? Da aga kam principles di, da aga kam scope di, da aga kam terms di, compensation etc and etc total. So, that is called engagement uh, letters. After the engagement letter, na pass. Kora awala audit appointment to she company auditors the your letter send ki that is called audit appointment. Our audit firms ya auditor aga accept ko na bia the duano pa months ki engagement letters sign she. The engagement letter na pass pa bia initial planning cha how to conduct the uh, audit now. So initial planning that consist of what's the following points. Come come points the initial planning ke number one knowledge of the business, number two risk assessment, number three internal control review that is called complete procedures and number four control procedures ya yeah, author, uh, author, authorities approval 
uh, segregations of the duty etcetera. So, all these are comes in the initial planning stage. The matlab sade matlab dadi che initial planning why we are doing the initial planning. Mung the initial planning ya yao auditors wole kai what is uh, the need of that one. So, uh, initial planning for the initial audit so that auditor uh, should determine the additional planning activities that is necessarily to uh, establish or to generate an appropriate audit strategy and audit plan uh, that should be included in the audit procedure and that is should be necessarily to obtain the sufficient appropriate audit evidence regarding to the uh, different business activity. So, for that purpose uh, initial planning are required. Then next one stage fourth one stage that is uh, preparations of the audit plan means how to properly prepare the audit plan because when auditors make an audit. So, auditor needs to do the work according to the planning. For the best outcomes of an audit, there is need to be an audit plan and auditors will follow those plan during the audit of that company. The fifth one stage that is accounting system review. What is the accounting system? either accounting system is on cash basis or on credit basis and similarly they are using the uh, international standards gap principles or not. After reviewing like uh, their books of accounts, their statements completely. So, analytical review of techniques will be checked out. How? Like purchasing are according to the control established control policies or not. So, after the analytical review, the seventh stage is considering the way in which audit evidence can be sought out. Then the substance, uh, substantive uh, testing uh, pro, uh, level that is come that is called transaction level procedure. Dear students, substantive uh, uh, testing that uh, consists of like uh, bank confirmations, like account receivable confirmations, inquire of uh, management regarding to the collectability of the customer account then like uh, match the customer orders to the invoice bill, match uh, like uh, collected funds to invoice bills, observe a physical inventory counts, um, confirmation of the inventory, all these testing, all these procedures and checking uh, this is called substantive testing. So, auditors will do substantive testing. Uh, <coughs> like to check out the receivables, like to check out the bank's records, like to check out the account receivable record, uh, then to check out physically inventory count, uh, how much inventory produced, how much inventory purchased, yeah, how much inventory sold out and what is the balance, all these issued that will be checked out. After that when all these physical work that is done, so the ninth one stage is review of the financial statements compliance with the standards material misstatement etcetera. So, after that the financial statement should be reviewed and that will be checked out that either the financial statement that is prepared by the company. So, that is according to the gap number one that is according to the international the reports that will be made. Uh, the financial reports or the financial statement that are prepared by company. So, that is according to the, uh, the, the international financial reporting standards or not number one. Number two, 
that either there should be the all these uh, reports or financial statement that will be free from the uh, misstatements or not material misstatements or not so all these uh, financial statements will be reviewed completely and with the great careness and the last one stage is what preparation and signing of the audit report. So, when all these nine phases, nine stages that is uh, done, so at the end then auditors give their opinion in shape of the audit reports and the opinion will be in four shapes. Either that will be qualified opinion, that will be non-qualified or unqualified opinion either that will be adverse opinion or either that will be uh, uh, that will be a disclaimer opinion. So, this was the complete procedures of the audit yeah we can say that the stages of the audit I quickly uh, going towards the reviewing of this one Gore. Avala sikigi different the sta audit stage. Avala ni stage da de chi yo company ba audit appointment ligi ya yo letter ligi yo audit company ta. Aghe ta munga audit appointment ya munga ta audit appointment letter wa yu. Aghe ta munga letter ke aghe ta da mention kari vi chi za munga company ta so gwaari chi ta so za munga da company so ke audit ok. بیا واپس پا آگے لیٹر کی لکڑی چھے مونگا ستاسو دا جواب منتظر یو یس یا نو واپس کا چرتے آگا آڈٹ کمپنی آڈٹرز فارمز چکم دے سکوی یس اوکی نو دا آڈٹ فارم او دا کمپنی پا منز کی یو اگریمنٹ ٹرمز اینڈ کنڈیشن والا اگریمنٹ سائن کی گی چھپا کم ٹرمز اینڈ کنڈیشن با آڈٹ کی گی دا آڈٹ فیز دا آڈٹ ٹائم پیریڈ دا کم ٹائم نا دا کم ٹائم اپو رے چاہی دا دا ٹول منشن کی گی سمرہ کسان با دا آڈٹ کی نو دیڈ اس کال انگیجمنٹ لیٹر پاگے انگیجمنٹ لیٹر کی دا دوان دا طرف نا سا ٹرمز اینڈ کنڈیشن وی فرام دا سائیڈ آف دا کمپنی ایز ویل ایز فرام دا سائیڈ آف دا آڈٹ فارمز اگا امزا شی دا اگی نپس امزا کے دلو نپس بیا انیشل پلیننگ کی گی آف دا آڈٹ چی دا آڈٹ با مونگا سنگا کنڈٹ کاؤ میں کم طریقے سر با دا آڈٹ کنڈٹ کی گی پا انیشل پلیننگ کے پکار دا اگی چی نالج آف دا بزنس دا بزنس ابارہ کے مونگتا نالج بھی او آڈیٹر تا ولی کو نالج نوی نو دن وی آر آن ایبل ٹو میک دا گوڈ ججمنٹ یا رسک اسیسمنٹ ہاو ٹو اسیس پروپرلی اسیس دا رسک to minimize the risk where there is a chances of the risk. So, how we can minimize it then internal control review that is what is the internal control review uh, what is the internal control policies etc of the business that will be control procedures uh, all the control procedures that will be checked out. The again a pass bia sadoram phase uh, the audit plan joda will di che audit pa kama tarike sara planning ka will di che kama in which way audit ba munga conduct ka ho bia accounting system review ka will di che ka will di che accounting systems ta so pa kama tarike sara yo company jo kade di bia analytical review da aga che ka will di da gena pas evidence can be sort out audit evidence di then substantive testing di procedures all tariqis ki kam di aga checking di aga na pas review the financial statements di at the end ba bia munga chida total car na uku audit conduct show audit planning go show go show da aga na pas che kam di auditors pal opinion ba ayo ar kai chida that is called audit opinion or audit report pa audit report ke da aga opinion ki ki Aga bia signet sign ushi or stamp shi and then send it and then that will be issued with the annual reports. So, this was I hope you will understand this one if you have any problem so then ask me and inshallah in the next class we will study the new topic that is objective of audit of financial statements that what are the objective that we are doing the audit of the financial statements. Clear? Yeah, the matlab sadhe chida your financial statements of the company 
مونگ آڈٹ کو نو دا اغی مقصد سے دا کم مقصد دا پارا مونگا دا فائنانشل سٹیٹمنٹس چی کم دی دا آڈٹ کو نو دا ایز ویری انٹرسٹنگ ٹاپک سو انشاءاللہ وی ویل آلسو ڈسکسٹ ان ڈیٹیل ٹیل دین اللہ حافظ سی یو